Hey, welcome in guys. Brandon with Taylor's Fire Smoke Cooking. Today we are making pan seared tuna steaks. When I tell you this is easy, I mean easy. Under 10 minutes cook time and you're going to be eating. Let's go ahead and get into it. It's really going to be quick. All right, guys. So let's go ahead and get this started. First thing we're going to do is we're going to marinate our tuna steaks. I have about two pounds of tuna steaks here portioned out. Looking good, looking good. And we're going to uh, marinate them really, really simply. We're going to be using some extra virgin olive oil. We're using some Dale's uh, all-purpose seasoning. It's a steak seasoning, but you can use it on fish and veggies as well. This is a soy-based seasoning, and it is potent, so you want to be careful with this. But it's going to add all the flavor and sodium that we need to this, well, the sodium we need. And then we're going to be using some all-purpose seasoning. This is a Tabitha Brown. I got this on clearance at Sam's Club but it does have some really good notes, garlic, onion, pepper. So it's gonna add the, the, the herbaceous element that we want to our uh, tuna here. This is ahi tuna that we're using. So first things first, we're gonna add about two to three tablespoons of our uh, olive oil. That's just to help when we cook it, so that it doesn't stick to our pan. We're gonna add in about a teaspoon or so of our Tabitha Brown. And then we're gonna add in a couple tablespoons of our Dale's all-purpose seasoning. And that's it. We're gonna go ahead and give everything a good shake or mix real quick. Now we're going to add in our tuna steaks into the Ziploc and we're going to only going to allow this to marinate for about 20 minutes tops. You don't want it to overpower the fish, but you want it to season the fish well and give it some good flavor. So you're going to just let it go for about 20 minutes. We're going to put it in the fridge, let it go for 10 minutes and then we're going to flip the bag over and let it go another 10. Then we'll be ready to cook. When it's time to cook it on up, we're going to bring you back in and let us see, uh, let us get finished up. All right, guys, so now it's time to get these uh, tuna steaks seared up. I've got my pan on a medium high. We're going to add in a couple tablespoons of butter and a couple tablespoons of olive oil. Not a lot. Just enough to ensure that our tuna steaks sear nicely and don't stick. One and two. The butter is going to actually add some nice flavor and richness. So we're just going to get this butter melted up. And when it's melted, it's going to go, be going to be go time. All right. So we've got our butter melted down. We're just going to add these tuna steaks right to the pan. You should hear a nice sizzle as soon as those steaks hit the pan. And we're just looking to go about two to three minutes per side. You want a nice flaky exterior with a nice pink interior. We're going to let them go. When it's time to flip, we'll come back. Once you get your tuna steaks in the pan, you don't want to fool with them. You just want to go ahead and let them go. So once they're in and settled, let's let them cook for about two to three minutes. You'll begin to see on the side how far up they're cooking and whether or not they're good or not. But after about three minutes, we're going to flip them over and let them finish. All right, guys. So we've let them go for about two and a half minutes. Now we're going to go ahead and flip them over. Nice color on those bad boys. Let's continue to let them go. We're probably going to let them go another two minutes. And after that, we're going to pull them and let them rest. All right, family. So now it's time to pull them off. Cook them for six, about six minutes total. Nice and seared on both sides. Now it's time to let them rest up while we finish our dinner. Here they are. All right. Now you can. All right, guys. Here's our finished 
finished product. In my dinner for tonight, we have uh, a California blend or a vegetable medley. We have some tomato salad. I have a video of that just dropped. Y'all watch that, this is fire. And then we have our pan seared tuna here. Let's get a bite. Amen. Super flaky. You can see if it's nice and pink in the center. That's what you want when you're uh, searing your salmon. Nice flaky exterior, a pink interior. Otherwise, it'll be dry and you don't want it to dry out. Just like canned tuna, you can definitely dry it out. Mmm. Fire. That Dale seasoning does it every time. Mm -hmm. It's a hit, guys. I'm telling you. And the one thing I love about a salmon steak or a tuna steak is that it's unctuous. It's, it's like eating meat. You know, if you eat salmon, salmon sometimes has a tendency to be super flaky or can be soft. But that tuna steak is going to give you what you need if you're, uh, you know, cutting back on eating red meat or even pork. It's going to give you exactly what you need. So you guys try it. Uh, let me know what you think about it. Leave the comments down below. Hit the notification bell. Till the next time, God bless. We'll see you around.